All right, so the value listed on this package was $8 US, and uh, I'm not sure which one I ended up getting because they never really have tracking on them. But this is a fake pair of sneakers that I got from uh, a random site, and it should be kind of entertaining to see what it is. Let's go ahead and show you guys what we got. What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals that I've curated for you guys, check the link in the description. So I don't ever link actually where to buy this type of product just because it's not in my best interest to do so. And I'm not paid from these companies at all to actually buy these. I actually pay my own money uh, to show you guys what you would get if you wasted your money on these items. And 99% of the time, it's pretty much trash. So let's go ahead and see what we got in this one though. I'm curious to see which one this is. So... Oh man, fashion. This is gonna be a good one, I can already tell. All right, so, <laughs> like normal, this, I mean, I don't know if you know how you can make garbage bags feel cheap, but this is like the cheapest feeling garbage bag cover. But wait, it gets better, we have fashion and it's taped together with the cheapest tape I've ever seen too uh, size 42 it looks like which is not the size I ordered I ordered a 43 so apparently they can't get that right <laughs> holy moly I don't know if you can get a look at that but this is premium packaging right here this is like the cream of the crop packaging it's so good Holy crap. This is such a ripoff, bros. Oh my god. This is the nicest part of the package, is this air bubble wrap stuff. Okay, so the fashion box came a pair of Nike mags. And this is probably the cheapest pair of Nike mags I've ever seen in my entire life. This is not even like costume grade Nike mags. I don't know. It's like disturbingly how cheap these are. So one thing I'll point out is, if you look at the advertisements uh, on the site that I got these, it says like $43 or $40 or $39, like is what the cost will be for one of these. And it looks a lot better than what you get in person, but Really the crazy thing to me is that they say it's like 40 something dollars and you click on it and then when you go to check out and actually select a size and everything else, the price ends up being like $80. So I'm not joking you, I paid $80 for this garbage right here. I mean, it's so incredibly bad. It's super flimsy around this area, obviously. It's all super mega bunched up here and it does have a little button there so it does light up as you can see, but it only lights up on one side and let's see does it change colors it flashes look at this it flashes so <laughs> that's a premium feature i don't even think you get that on the real pair uh <laughs> that's hilarious so yeah it lights up uh and it, it's made to look like a, a mag but man these are these are terrible the universal like licensed versions of the nike mags that don't say nike on them those ones were available for like $100 and then you could get those on sale for like 80 bucks um, when the time is not like Halloween time. And so like those are like $80 and then this on the other hand is like was $80 for me. And this is definitely cheaper quality than the other one. It is a little bit heavy just because you have hard rubber sole and stuff on the outside. I mean overall this is straight garbo. I never own a real pair of these. Obviously, the price point is crazy, uh, but uh, but this is pretty this is pretty terrible. Um, I highly regret wasting eighty dollars on these. Forty dollars, I would have been like, yeah, it's kind of funny, but eighty dollars is like, oh no, man, like I really wasted some good money on uh, a pair of these. But you know, for science, I wanted to show you guys what you would get if you guys spent your money because the pictures they make them look a lot better than what you get in person, and just the sheer like wrinkled like flappy look of the shoe it's just terrible structure the midsole is actually pretty big it feels kind of like fake rubbery foam stuff then the back it actually doesn't say mag on it or anything like that obviously um 
And parts of the materials are weird. Like this is like a shiny pleather sort of material here. It's definitely not real. And then you have a felt material across the shoe. And then it looks like almost Adidas three stripes on the side, which is kind of funny. I do like that they put lights on it, but again, it's just super cheesy the way that they integrated it. Uh, it looks like cheap knockoff like LEDs from China, honestly, obviously, which is why they flash pretty. The tongue is cut pretty low, and this is probably the cheapest material on the entire thing because this is like, as I've said a bazillion times, like a teddy bear like you get from a carnival. That That's what this feels like, the, the same caliber of uh, quality. So if you're looking at these random sites to just buy a pair of something like this and think that you're going to be able to trick people and think you're getting the real thing, like obviously that's not going to be the situation. Again, if you want it just for the fact that it's like the fun theme of the Back to the Future thing and you want to like just have like a movie prop or something maybe for a Halloween outfit, like I totally get it. That makes more sense. Like honestly, I just can't picture this being good to wear though. I feel like you could honestly hurt yourself pretty bad wearing something like this. Like it just doesn't seem like it's safe. But um, that's my thoughts though. I mean, this is uh, definitely something to stay away from. I do have a couple other random packages that are going to be coming uh, from the site that I bought these from. Not very good. Uh, yikes. Definitely not very good. But uh, we'll leave it at that. If you guys are interested in these videos, or if you guys see any random fake pairs or just super terrible knockoffs, um, or even really good knockoffs that you guys want me to check out, check the link in the description to my email and then email me or hit me up on Twitter or something like that. And then I'll always just try to check out the products that you guys are directing me to. If it's something that's looks entertaining and then it's something that I'll, I'll pull the trigger and buy. But um, yeah, I don't know. This is pretty bad. I don't picture myself ever wearing these, but uh, but it is what it is. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, notification bell to be notified when my videos go live. Have a good rest of the day and we'll see you guys for some more videos soon. Peace guys.